now we shall consider question number 7c we will see the solution of uh, 7c a survey of uh, 320 families with five children each revealed the following distribution they have given the distribution here number of boys as uh, some values number of girls number of families is the result consistent with the hypothesis that male and female births are equally probable at 5% level of significance. We need to analyze that testing the hypothesis uh, whether the male and female births are equally probable at 5% level of significance or not. So this is the problem on, based on uh, chi-square distribution and you, you are not supposed to consider chi-square uh, directly uh, the formula directly here we have we need to do some background uh, work that is we need to first apply binomial distribution uh, for this we need to find out the frequency that is uh, here they have been given observed value whatever the set of data being given is observed value we needed to find out the expected value so after finding the expected value we can apply chi-square distribution uh, that is chi-square test so moving on to the solution part so given uh, capital N, that is uh, overall value 320, probability of birth girl or a boy, that is probability of uh, success of uh, like a bir uh, birth called girl or a boy is given by 1 by 2. The chance factor of uh, uh, birth like a girl or boy is given by 1 by 2. So once we came to know the value of P, we can find out value of Q, that is 1 minus P, which will be equal to 1 by 2 also. So after getting the value of P and Q, so the number of uh, children uh, selected in each family is given by N equal to small value that is 5. Small N is represented by 5. Now defining null hypothesis, the result was no consistent with the hypothesis that male and female births are equal. So I have defined the null hypothesis as a false statement that is what? The result was no consistent with the hypothesis that male and female births are equal. So by binomial distribution, we have P of X. According to binomial distribution, the definition of uh, binomial distribution is given by P of X is equal to NCX P power X Q power N minus X. Now I will substitute N value, P value, Q value. 5 CX 0.5 power X. 0.5 power 5 minus x bases are same add the powers we know that a power m into a power n is nothing but a power m plus n in the same manner as we have 0.5 whole power x plus 5 minus x so x x get cancelled you are left out with 0.5 power 5 multiplied with 5 c x now this is what uh, p of x according to binomial distribution so we need to find out expectation uh, values so according to theoretical frequency f of x is defined by n into p of x the n value is given by 320 into p of x is 5 cx 0.5 power x simplifying this means 0.5 whole power 5 into 320 we are going to get 10 10 into 5 cx this is what now we have free, uh, theoretical frequency. So finally, theoretical frequency is given by f of x is equal to 10 times of 5 cx. Now we will go with uh, as you look at the table uh, given content. So the values are the number of boys, uh, probability of getting uh, boys or girls is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So for that, uh, we are going to give x values as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So when f of uh, 0, <coughs> when x is 0, what is the value I am going to get? 10, uh, 10 times of uh, 5c0 it will, it will be 10. Similarly, 10 times of 5c1 will be 50. When I give x equal to 2, I am going to get 100. When I, I give x equal to 3, I am going to get 100. When I give x equal to 4, I am going to get 50. When I give x equal to 5, I am going to get 10. If you have any doubts in uh, solving this part, I can show you how to calculate in using calculator. So just 10 times of multiplied with uh, what? 5, 5. Here we have NCX. You can see here NCR. <coughs> 
go with the shift division symbol c x i will go with alpha x then press calci it will ask x value give x equal to 0 we got a 10 year similarly press calci give x equal to 1 we got 50 similarly press calci give x equal to 4 it will give 50 so this is how we can calculate the values of uh, theoretical frequencies by using calculator so now enter the observed values and expected value the observed values are already given in the table in the given question so these are called observed values these are the values called observed values why so now we will uh, tabulate observed values and expected values along the column 14 10 56 uh, 50 110 100 just to tablet the values whatever we got earlier see these are the values we have got so just we are tabulating that values and uh, we will uh, substitute the chi square formula chi square formula is given by summation of i equal to 1 to n o i minus e i whole square divided by e i so just substitute the this uh, this is nothing but o1 e1 o2 e2 like that just subtract 14 minus 10 whole square 14 minus 10 whole square divided by 10 plus 56 minus 50 divided whole square divided by 50 like that like that uh, up to the last time 12 minus 10 whole square divided by 10 so simplifying this we got uh, the value as uh, 7.16 so we uh, chi square values by simplifying this uh, whole thing we are going to get the value as 7.16 so according to the problem uh, the problem has been uh, used uh, by using a uh, uh, binomial distribution the degree of freedom is given by nu is equal to n minus 1 so the set of uh, n values is 6 6 minus 1 will be equal to 5 this is what uh, the degree of freedom so according to the critical uh, value we can see the chi square uh, table uh, for uh, 5 percent level at degree of freedom uh, 5 using the uh, handbook we are going to have 11.07 for 5 degree of freedom but the answer what we got here 7.16 so and uh, the degree of freedom uh, at for 5 degree of freedom we have chi square value as uh, 11.07 which is lesser than the whatever the value what we got so therefore we can say that the hypothesis thus the hypothesis is accepted at 5 percent level of significance this is how we can calculate uh, or solve the problems of chi-square distribution or chi-square test. So if you have any doubts, you can put a comment. I will clear your doubts without any hesitation. You can ask any doubts. So thank you for watching uh, this video. Do subscribe to my YouTube channel and also share this video with your friends. Thank you all for watching this.